How's it going everyone, Mario here. In this video we will go over the analysis of what happened in SPY and we'll also go over what to expect leading into FOMC tomorrow. Are we expecting a 75 basis points or a 100 basis points or what to expect from the Fed? We'll cover everything in this video. The main question is, are they going to goose the tape higher to run a test to the trend line at 397 or are they going to sell off and break that infamous 380 by the end of the day tomorrow? We will start with the daily charts of SPY to see what's going on. The SPY has been holding on to that 382.50 to 382 levels for the past 3 days now. That tells you that the 382 level is important when it comes to the downside targets. If we take out 382 tomorrow, we can easily see 380 and that gap fill at 378. And in case of a bullish surprise from Fed and let's say the market likes whatever the Powell is saying, if you think about it, it really doesn't matter if he's going to do a 75 or 100 basis points. What matters to you as a trader is how the markets react to it. So if the market reacts positively and they started pushing higher, they started breaking above that highs of that candle which we had yesterday and they started closing candles above 390, one price which has been catching my eye, the trend line from June lows. It is pretty common behavior from the markets to go all the way back up to run a test to the trend line which is currently sitting at around 397 and change. Will they go there to attempt to run a test to that number? Possible. As I said before, it is pretty common behavior for the market to run a test to those trend lines which once acted as strong supports. So leading into tomorrow, uh, we are headed into a binary event which market cares about the most. It's always about that cocaine operation and the easy monetary policy if you think about it. So if they do push higher, I will be watching out for one, that 390 levels which is pretty important and if they take 390 off to the woodsheds and then start pushing higher, the shorts will start to panic and they'll cover their shorts and it'll start to push the price all the way to 397 up north. That will be in case of a bullish surprise. So what about the other side of the tape? What if the market doesn't like what the Fed was saying and the market was like, nope, I don't trust you and I'm going to fall further. And if that's the case, you need to watch out for the lows at 382.50. And if the 382.50 is taken behind the woodsheds, we are watching at 380 and the gap fell at 378.50 and change. Breaking under 378 is really bearish for the markets. We can come all the way back down to run a test to that 375 zone or 370. We will take it from there on a real-time basis where the members of the Discord and the members of the Patreon will get the updates as the day goes. For the past three days, the price didn't do anything. If you look into the five-minute charts since Friday, we have been trading in a range waiting for Pavel to see what he's going to say and how the market is going to react. A big move is coming because the price has been consolidating. Since the volatility has been expanded, the range of the consolidation is higher which offers some nice tradable opportunities but it's a consolidation nonetheless. We have been consolidating between 382 to the downside and 387 to the upside. This consolidation cannot go long for longer because after Pavel we will get a decisive break either to the upside or to the downside. Breaking about 387, open stores for 390 as we mentioned before, opening under or breaking under 382.50, open store for the gap fill at 380 and 378.50 down south. Now we will go over the early morning session and we'll go over the notes which has been sent out and we'll compare it to the price action to see how accurate the numbers are. The first things first, in the overnight sessions they ran a test to that 390 equivalent in SPY, got rejected, came all the way back down and now they were hanging around that 385.30 zone which was pretty important and the opening print was under 385.30. Now we have a small tight range in cards. 385.30 to the upside and 384.20 to the downside. So breaking above 385.30 we have 386 as a pivot before running a test to 387 up north. Breaking under 385.30 or getting rejected at 385.30 opens doors for running a test to 384.20 down south. 
Let's see what the price did. They opened at 385, they ran a test to 385.30, got rejected and came all the way back down. Didn't do much, they couldn't hold on to 384.20, broke under it. So now, breaking under 384.20 opened door for the next numbers down south which was at 382.50. So now, SPY is in a shortable zone all the way to 382.50. As long as the price is under 384.20, there is a high probable chance that the price might get all the way down to 382.50. And then we took a short position over here. They hang around this area for a while, got rejected multiple times, couldn't break about 384.20 and finally gave up and came all the way back down to what number? 382.68, which was the lows of that candle before they pushed the tape all the way higher. In today's session, if I would have gotten 382.50, I was willing to buy SPY over there. We sent out an update saying that we're just chopping around in between that 384.20 to 382.50 range. They bounced off the tape before getting to my number, which removes my long trade off the window. But if they come back down to run a test to 382.50 to 382 levels, I'm a willing buyer there to run a test to 384.20 again. They did do that in the last one hour of the session, but the problem is they didn't do it the way I wanted them to do. They undercut 382, went all the way to 381.20. After the SPY completed that 180 or more, they ripped it from there. This is not something which I wanted to see, so I stayed away from taking that long trade. But people did take it as soon as 382.50 was off the windows and traded it all the way to 384.20 to our first pivot and the 385.30 to our second pivot. And then they called it a day. Go back to the notes, keep the 5 minutes and 15 minute charts next to you, compare the notes with the charts of SPY. As I mentioned earlier, the price is just consolidating. Play the consolidation zone until a breakout or breakdown occurs. We never know which side the price is going to go to, it can go either way. In case of the upside surprise, watch out for 397, that trend line. In case of a downside surprise, watch out for the price to take out 380. Manage the risk wisely. Do not get yourself caught into the wrong side with the volatility. Join the Discord, join the Patreon if you need the real-time updates on SPY as the session is unfolding. As always, take high probability trades, manage the risk wisely. I'll see you guys in the next video.